What's up everyone? It is now episode 2 in our Java game development tutorial series. Uh, if you remember in our first episode, we created this little window that does absolutely nothing and it's too small. Hooray for us. Today we're going to create a method to make the window the size of the user's screen. Now, that sounds easier than it actually is because when you think about it with a pixel game, you can't, you know, you, you rely on these square shaped blocky pixel things. You can't just scale it up to some arbitrary size and expect it to pixelate properly if it's not a multiple of the uh, you know actual game's size. It's not going to work. You're not going to end up with perfectly square pixels every time. Um, I'll explain more what I mean by that uh, in a moment, but for now let's get started. First thing we want to do is in in it we're going to call a method called get best size. We're going to go ahead and create that method, private, static, void, get best size. Now, we're going to want some variables for this. We're going to want a private, static, final, int, game, width. Let's set it for 400. Private, static, final, int, game, height. Uh, let's make this 250. Um, these are the width and height that our game is going to be by default. And now this looks small, 400 by 250. That's because this is the number of um, the block, sh you know, large blocky pixels that's going to be on the screen. And as you know, with pixel art, uh, the pixels usually appear larger. We're going to draw to, you know, something like 400 by 250 and then scale it up to some factor of this. So 400, uh, sorry, multiple of this. Uh, so 400. Uh, you know, times two would be 800, and then times, and you know, add another one, times, so it's times three, we've got 1200. Um, and as you can see, you can easily fill up a 1200 uh, pixel wide screen um, just by multiplying this by three, and then you end up with pixels that are three by three pixels on your screen, and you get these little blocks. You know, that's exactly what we want. So, game width, 400, uh, game height is 250. Um, private, static, Final int game width equals zero, and private static final int game height equals zero. I realize this is probably going to be confusing. I should probably name them something different, but I'm not going to. Um, the capital, you know, the final ones with the capitals and the underscores, these are the size, you know, our target size for the default size of our game. These ones are the actual size we're going to end up with because we can't just scale this up to the size of the user's screen and expect everything to work properly. We're going to need to find a game width and game height that's approximately this, but is rather uh, a fraction of the user's screen size so that it scales up properly. So, in get best size, we're going to say toolkit, toolkit equals toolkit dot get default toolkit. This will give us a toolkit that gives us access to um, information about the screen and that sort of thing. So we'll say dimension uh, screen size equals toolkit dot get screen size. Okay, now we're going to create a little loop that will loop through and make the canvas bigger um, by multiples of our game width and height until it can't make it any larger without exceeding the screen size. So we'll create a boolean, call it done, it is equal to false. And then we say while not done, so until we set this to be true, we'll keep looping this. And we'll say canvas width plus equals game width, and canvas height plus equals game width height. So each time we go through it'll increment this so it's a multiple of this here. First time through it'll be 400 by 250, second time through it'll be 800 by 500. You get the idea. Now we want to check and see if we've exceeded. If canvas width is greater than screen size dot width or canvas height is greater than screen size dot height well, we've exceeded it, and we need to go back down one, uh, back down one. So, canvas width minus equals game width. 
canvas canvas height minus equals game height. Okay, and done is equal to true, so we don't loop through this anymore. Actually, uh, I just noticed something. This is actually not correct. Um, because, l here, let me demonstrate. If I set game width to, let's say, 300, and then we run the game. Oh, okay, wait, uh, sorry, not width. That was fine. Uh, let's set this to 300. See what, went, what just happened there? This is not scaled up to the size of my screen because it can't scale up anymore without exceeding it, so it has to go back down to the nearest multiple. But the nearest multiple leaves this empty space here, which doesn't properly utilize the user's screen space. That could get really annoying, particularly, I mean, I mean, just by being off by a little bit, you might end up with, you know, 200 pixels of wasted space, you know, on either side or anything like that. We don't want that. We want the user to be able to utilize the screen space they have. So, what we're going to aim for here is to make it so that... Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's what we've got right now. Uh, we kind of want to make it so that the user's screen is properly utilized. Um, the best way for us to do that, um, the way I described earlier... At least I think I described it earlier, uh, is going to be um, after we're finished with the whole canvas width thing, we're going to get a couple values here. Int x difference, uh, let's just call it diff. Int x diff equals uh, screen size dot width minus canvas width. So it's going to tell us how many pixels are, how much, you know, wasted space. What's the difference between the size of our screen and the size of the canvas. And we'll do the same thing for y. y diff equals screen size dot height minus canvas height. And we also want to know the factor by which we scaled everything up. So the factor is equal to uh, canvas width divided by game width, or canvas height divided by game height, doesn't matter which, uh, but it will tell us how many times we multiplied this to get this. Um, now what we want to do is we want to say uh, game size and, uh, sorry, game width. Now notice that this is our other game width, not our final game width. This is the one we're actually going to use. This is our target game width that we're trying to get, and this is the game width that w works best for the user's screen. So game width is equal to, let's see if I can do this right. The game width is uh, the canvas width divided by the factor. Um, plus uh, x diff divided by the factor. Maybe. I wonder if that's right. Let's find out. Game height equals canvas height divided by factor plus y diff divided by factor. I'm going to put a couple. I'm going to put a uh, system.out.println to check and see if this is working. We want to say game width. Or actually, let's say game size. Uh, print out the game width. And the game height, so we can see if what we're doing is actually working. Um, oh, what went wrong here? The final field render... Oh, oops. Uh, these should not be final. Obviously. That was rather silly of me to do that. Okay, let's see what happens now. What do we print out? 426 by 266. Let's see if I've actually got something that makes sense here. Is that Does that fit into my screen? 426 times 2. Okay, so plus 426, 1278. Yeah, that's about right. My screen is uh, 1280. Uh, it's rounding it down by a couple of pixels, which is not a problem here. Uh, and 266 plus 266 plus... 
266, 798. Yep, my screen's 800 pixels tall. So that's actually working really well. So now what we end up with is this is the, the ideal game width and height, you know, in actual, you know, the, the pixels that our game is going to actually be drawing that will then be scaled up to fit in the user's screen. Uh, and now we know what the multiple is too. So now we can say canvas width equals game width times factor and canvas height is equal to game height times factor which is perfect now this may uh, be a weird way of doing it and in fact I'll probably go over it later and find out that I did the math in an unnecessary way there was probably an easier way to do it but it gets the job done now when we run the game it should scale up to yep exactly the size of my screen that's perfect and what this will do the effect that this will have is it won't stretch your image at all or anything like that. Your final game um, is going to basically, it will never be smaller um, or, you know, your viewpoint, viewport that your users see will never be smaller than game width and game height. And it will never be larger than uh, game width and game height. Uh, times two, I think. It'll never be never be larger than twice that and never be smaller than that so you can be anywhere from game width to uh, twice game width basically um, so you might have some issues with visibility depending on the game you're making but our game isn't gonna have that problem uh, so that's uh, that's fine to do it that way um, hope this episode hasn't been too long uh, if you like the video please comment like and subscribe and I'll see you next time